This 3 News Now update sponsored by Godfather's Pizza. Order today. I'm Jennifer Griswold with 3 News Now and here's a look at what's happening now. We know more about when the man convicted of killing Sidney Loof will begin the punishment phase. Court documents say Aubrey Trail's death penalty hearing will take place June 23rd through the 26th. That's when a three judge panel will determine whether Trail should get life in prison or a death sentence. Omaha police need your help identifying a kidnapping suspect. A 23 year old woman said a man tried to force her into the car when she was running in the area of 32nd and Woolworth. She was able to escape from him and run off. The suspect is believed to be a Hispanic man in his 30s driving a dark colored compact car. If you know anything, call Omaha Crime Stoppers. We have that number and video of the incident at 3newsnow.com. And on 3 News Now, Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin with this latest update on the winter storm that will be impacting us beginning early Friday morning. Snow will start moving in after about 3 o'clock in the morning. Winter weather advisory goes into effect at that time and will last until early Saturday morning. So we're looking at accumulating snow, but that's not all. It will be a combination of wind, plus we're adding in some warmer temperatures as the day wears on, and we're looking at a wintry mix developing as well. More significant snowfall stays up in parts of Iowa. That's where we could see several inches of snow before it's all said and done. So the morning commute and the evening one will be impacted with this system. Snow in the morning and the wind will also continue to pick up. Once we get into the evening commute, this is when I think temperatures will be closer to obviously freezing and that means that we would see a switch over to some freezing drizzle. So that would get added on top of the snow that will just act like a glaze and then we've got even colder air moving in once we head into the weekend. So as far as the overall amounts right now, we're looking at about three to five. I would say closer to three to four in the metro area, one to three to the south and again anywhere between Denison north of Harlan. That's the area that could see the more significant snowfall and even higher totals further to the north of that. As far as the next 72 hours go, we are going to go from 33 for the high on Friday. That will actually occur during the evening hours, late in the evening and continue pretty much even overnight. Once we get into Saturday, though, temperatures will drop. Cold front arrives after about six o'clock in the morning and the winds will be whipping. It'll be up to 40 to 50 miles an hour and out of the north. That's why we could see some glazing or freezing, flash freezing, anything that's wet. So keep that in mind for sidewalks, patios. Uh, once again, even uh, looking at parking lots. That'll be a big problem. Trees and even your roof. We're going to see some major concerns here going into Saturday. Sunday, even colder air. We start off with one, only make it up to 10. And by the time we get into Monday, we start off with minus two slowly and really ever so slowly. We'll start to warm things back up again. Upper 20s here for Tuesday and then the chance for another round of a wintry mix coming in by Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Now at Godfather's Pizza, get a large one topping pizza for 12 bucks when you buy two. That's right. Get two large one topping pizzas for only $12 each. And this is a delicious deal. At just $12 each now for a limited time.